A round of applause for Kate Stone! Hello, how are y'all doing tonight? Woo! My name is Katie Stone and I am with Child. Yeah. Come on guys, is that all the applause that I get? Yeah! That's Soon my boobs will become teats. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, Woo. Oh my god, I'm not just walking up on here on the stage. You know, when you're pregnant, the biggest workout of the day is when you just put on your pants. <laughs> my Lamas. <laughs> well, first off, I think I should apologize because nobody's getting laid tonight on Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> Number one boner killer, right here. <laughs> you boys can line up your boners and I'll <laughs> shoot them down. Um, so, yeah. well, as you can see, 36 weeks ago, I had sex. <laughs> Yeah. When this baby hears voice tonight, he better get up and start dancing. <laughs> Do a little bit <laughs> Um, okay. So, uh, you know, I used to spend a lot of money on slutty clothes to convey the message to people that I like sex. Now I don't have to spend any money at all. <laughs> Except on this shirt. This is kind of a tight shirt. I call it my milf shirt. <laughs> number one sperm provider. <laughs> now that I think about it, I don't know why I call him number one. It's not like there's a number two. <laughs> so you can see I'm carrying around a lot of baggage these days. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, my hands are so swollen I can't wear my wedding ring anymore. I mean, my body is retaining so much water. I mean, right now, it's trying to obtain, like, or uh, retain the water, like, that's in your glass. <laughs> what are you drinking there, by the way? <laughs> Grapefruit juice? Okay, good. There's no alcohol in there. I just want to tell all you people who are drinking right now that you're assholes. <laughs> okay? Do you know what it's like to not be able to drink? It sucks. It's like being a priest and going to a playground and they tell you you can't pass out any candy. <laughs> so, but you know, my body, I look pregnant now, obviously. But for a long time, it was just like awkwardly swollen. You know, I looked like an alcoholic that drank malt liquor. <laughs> but God, do I miss malt liquor. <laughs> you know, people tell me that I'm glowing. Well, you know, when you don't have a liter of Franzia circulating throughout your system, you look a whole hell of a lot better. <laughs> And, um, but the doctor, you know, she tells me, don't stress. Because if I stress, then the baby stresses. And I want to say, well, listen, if I could just drink my wine, then my eye would stop twitching, and then I wouldn't be so stressed. <laughs> but it's okay to have a little drink, you know, every once in a while. And the baby and I have this special way of communicating. <laughs> when the baby kicks once, it gets bourbon. When the baby kicks twice, it gets beer. <laughs> um, so, I see you guys have some snacks up here. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> That'd be a whole lot funnier if I had some snacks up here, I think. You know, my husband, he really doesn't dare approach me without food anymore. <laughs> he usually kind of like dangles it out in front of him. And he takes each step very slowly. And then sometimes he kind of like puts like a, his arm up to protect his face. <laughs> and then I snatch it, and I crush him, and I gobble it up. <laughs> I'm kind of like a dog when I eat. I don't like anybody to talk to me. <laughs> um, but, you know, I really don't eat that much more sweets and desserts. I mean, sometimes I'll have a brownie, but then the baby, he'll want to have two brownies. Um, you know, but I do eat a lot of Chinese food, that's for sure. I mean, people ask me if we have a name for the baby. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if a full-grown man named Mr. Wonton jumps on out here. <laughs> but my husband, he just doesn't understand what it's like to have this parasite that just takes the energy and life out of me day after day. <laughs> and then on top of him, I have this baby to take care of. <laughs> so, next topic. Women. Okay. <laughs> you know how they say that women in their 30s are more horny? 
because their biological clocks are ticking? <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> I think that when a woman puts something on her list of things to do, well, she's gonna get shit done. <laughs> you know, boys say that they love to have sex, but I mean, when it comes to reproduction, the boss in the bedroom is the female, okay? <laughs> I mean, I had spreadsheets about what my ovaries were doing, and I had calendars and information on my basal temperature. I was like a mad scientist. <laughs> and my husband says to me, you're really starting to kill the mood. I said, since when did you ever need a mood? <laughs> Usually you find your mood halfway through a can of course. <laughs> Radio? <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> um, so, we all know that men are obsessed with their penis. But did you know that men are obsessed with numbers that correlate to their penis? They are. So, in high school, you know, a guy, he gets out his ruler, or maybe, depending what mood he's in, his protractor, <laughs> and he measures his penis, and that's the number. In college, you know, it's all about how many women you sleep with. Or I should say, quote, unquote, something like <laughs> and then, but in your 30s, it's all about your sperm count. It's all about how many spermies you can fit into one pull. <laughs> so, my husband and I go to this, see this fertility doctor, and she says that men on average produce 15 million sperm. And then she tells me that my husband produces 62 million. <laughs> you should have seen the way his eyes lit up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him so proud. <laughs> Well, now I know your internet password for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so did you guys know that women burn 500 calories a day just from breastfeeding? Nice. Shit, I'm gonna breastfeed my kid till he's five. <laughs> he's gonna be like all up on my boobs. I'm gonna be standing there like eating a cheeseburger and a TikTok. 